Good morning, Phil Abadicola here. Welcome back to Distant Signal and another video. Today's gonna be a hot take, just a quick segment that we're gonna do here on The Signal from now on, usually because I don't have much time. Gotta go to casting soon, and this lens here is about to get rented, so here we go. <laughs> I was recently asked to co-direct the second episode of a webisode series called Snoop, written, produced, uh, and starring Jeff Herbor. And I'm about to run out to go do a casting session with him. And casting is one of my favorite parts about the filmmaking process. I like how we get to hear dozens or maybe even hundreds of interpretations of the work at hand. Uh, personally, if you're interested in filmmaking, <clears throat> Casting is one of the most overlooked and uh, least appreciated aspects of the process. If you miscast your role, it doesn't matter how good your script is or how good your story is or how good the direction is, your film is going to fail. Uh, I think that 90% of a director's job really probably is casting. If, if you fail in that part of the process, it's very difficult to coach someone into the role. They really have to be the right person for the job. And you will know that almost right off the bat. Uh, I stopped trying to find actors that I could mold and realized that it was much easier to cast to type, if you will. That if the character is boisterous and big and funny and crazy, you look for someone who's kind of like that. It makes your job as a director a million times easier because you're hiring them to do a job. And if they can't perform that job, it's a waste of time to try to coach them into it, especially with all the money and time it takes to make a film. You want to be as efficient as possible, and part of that is casting. So a couple things that I've learned through the casting process is choose your sides carefully. Sides are the little bits of script that you're going to give actors to read. It's usually a scene, sometimes it's part of a scene, but choose it carefully. Uh, I like to choose sides that have emotional um, impact, not not scenes that are throwaway. What I don't want to do is, is have an actor read a scene that's about ordering breakfast, unless the ordering of the breakfast is extremely pivotal to the entire story. If it's just them sitting down and saying, I need some bacon and eggs, it's not going to help you as a director or as a writer to see where the material is going to go. You should choose the moments that mean something in the story, uh, a pivotal moment either between characters or in the story. That way you get a sense that they understand what's actually occurring in the moment. I think uh, a second piece of advice that I have is to do a cold read first before you give any direction to the actors, meaning they come in, they sit down, you say your hellos, uh, they say hello to camera uh, for, for your record keeping, and then they just read. Uh, you give them no indication as to what the scene is about beyond what is on the page, and you see what they do with it. That way you're going to know if they really understand the material, and you'll understand if you need to actually give a a, uh, some context to the actor. And one last little nugget about casting is make sure they're all recorded. You never know, maybe somebody reads well in the room, but on camera there's just something not happening. The camera is the eye that the audience is going to be seeing the film through. And maybe in the room there was a lot of charisma and it just worked between the actors in the room or, the, or maybe you felt something as the writer or director. But maybe on camera, it's just not happening. And I can't explain that. It's a je ne sais quoi, if you will, of filmmaking. So always record your auditions so you can review them later to make sure that what is happening in the room is actually reading on camera. Okay, that's it guys. I gotta run. This lens is getting rented. I'm going to casting. That's a quick take. I hope it wasn't too long and I'll see you real soon. Check me out on Instagram, uh, Distant Signal. Also check us out on Patreon and Steemit.com, my favorite cryptocurrency. All right guys, catch you later.